Donnie's Boyd here and happy Payday Your Way Friday. Today's episode is titled How to Break Free from Survival Mode. All right, you guys. So look, today is all about breaking free from survival mode. So first off, congratulations. You made it. You survived. But here's the deal. We were not made to simply survive. Five. So first off, let me even tell you how I came up with this topic for today because it's not always easy coming up with topics, but because I love what I do, you know, it happens, you know, and it's so exciting. But anywho, so Friday was hair day in my family since my, my three youngest did not have to go to school. So I had to take down hair. I had to wash hair. I had to redo hair, you know, so much. But anywho, my eight-year-old was watching um, YouTube Kids and she loves playing Minecraft. I don't know if she's even old enough to play it, but my husband lets her play it. So, you know, daddy said yes. So we go with it. But anywho, she was watching some Minecraft stuff on YouTube Kids. And as she was watching, the one she was watching, the person who recorded the video, the content creator, he was in survival mode. And she made the statement, she was like, I don't like playing in survival mode. I prefer playing in creative mode. And I don't know why, but it just triggered something for me, which was super awesome. Look, a lot of us y'all are out here literally living in survival mode. But the question is why? Like why? Why are we living in survival mode, you all? Um, when we don't have to, um, there, so here's the deal. So creative mode is where we get in tune with ourselves to see what it is exactly that we can do. But sometimes you all that creative mode is kind of scary, you know, survival mode is something that we've been used to. So we go along with it. Whereas creative mode doesn't always seem as easy, but if you stay tuned with me Friday, I'm going to talk about how you can tap into your creative mode to actually live a life more abundantly, which is what was promised to us. So abundance, you all, is your birthright, okay? So let's just talk about this survival mode thing. So look, we made it through, we've survived, we made it through this stuff, but we keep going back and going back and going back. Why do we keep allowing ourselves to live life like this? Honestly, right now, <laughs> The answer to that question is not needed. What's needed right now is for you to decide that you are no longer going to keep living in survival mode because what it's doing is it's keeping you from what you're supposed to have. Like it's literally supposed to be yours right now, right this minute, but you are stuck in survival mode. But guess what? That's okay because you can get out of it. But how? So there are three things. So the first thing that I would ask is why are you doing what you are doing? Like right now, for example, why are you working at such and such job? Like why? Why are you whatever you're doing? Why are you doing that? Like for example, I would hear some people say, oh, I make $100,000 a year and to them they think that's great. But then on the other end, they don't have time with their family. They're barely even able to enjoy that money that they're making. Or I hear somebody who's barely making $30,000 a year and they have a family and they're always working. So they're always working just to get the bare minimum. They're literally living in survival mode, you all. So, so why? Why are we simply doing what we're doing? Are we doing it because we don't know that there's another way? Why? So literally think about it and do not beat yourself up about it. I'm not gonna beat you up. That's the question I had to ask myself. So don't beat yourself up, but ask yourself why you are doing what you're doing. And if your answer to that is you don't know or because you have bills to pay, then you're in for a great surprise because just because you have bills to pay doesn't mean that you have to work for someone else. But here we go, let's keep moving. So the second thing that I want you to do is ask yourself, what can I do differently? Ha, huh, light bulb. So literally you all, when you think about what you can do differently, it almost takes you a little bit out of your comfort zone. But if I'm honest, that's exactly where you want to be. Why do you want to be outside of your comfort zone? Well, first off, 
Living in survival mode is already uncomfortable, but because we're so used to it, it's almost like comfortable discomfort, which is kind of crazy. But when we step out and try to figure out what we can do differently, because it's so uncomfortable, we don't know anything about it. Sometimes we freeze up and we're like, nah, but this, but that. We always throw butts in there. And what those butts do is keep us from going where we need to go. So get rid of those butts. Tell them bye-bye. Adios. <laughs> Adios. So literally get rid of them. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. So when you find yourself trying to keep yourself from moving forward with those things that you can do differently, remind yourself that when you keep using excuses, that those are the very things that are keeping you limited. So you're fighting for your limitations. And why would you fight for those when you when freedom is just right around the corner for you, if you just jump out. I know it sounds scary, but think about it this way. A lot of people say, when you get to the end of your rope, tie a knot and hold tight. I'm going to tell you not to do that. <laughs> Anyone who knows me and have heard me say that, what I tell people to do is when you get to the end of your rope, let go. That means that's it. <laughs> that means you don't have to hold onto the rope anymore. And nine times out of 10, you'll find that the ground is right below your feet literally everything has been worked out because that's how things work if you've made it this far then you've come up you've overcome everything that you've already been through in your life and that speaks volume so once you get to the end of your rope just simply let go you can tie a knot all you want you're just delaying you're delaying <laughs> and why would you want to delay that it's time to move forward because when you move forward, that's when things start happening. Yes, they start getting a little uncomfortable, but that's good. It's great news. All right, so the first thing was to literally ask yourself what you're doing right now or why. Why you're doing what you're doing right now. What are you doing? Why are you doing it right now? And the second thing is to think about what you can do differently. And then after that, the very last thing I want you to do is do something different, even if you're afraid. So this is something that I had to do. I literally had to do something afraid. When I started this, I did it afraid. Why? I knew nothing about this. I had no clue, but I knew that I had to do something different. I knew that there was a purpose larger than me inside of me that I needed to tap into. And I knew that if I did not become successful, that there were other people who would miss out because I was their connection. And believe it or not, you, my friend, are someone else's connection too. So you literally are going to be a reason why someone either fails or succeeds. And I know that sounds crazy. It sounds like a lot of pressure, but don't think about it that way. Think about, oh my gosh, like I have something to offer because you do. You have more to offer than you could ever imagine, but you have to stop thinking lowly about yourself. You have so much to offer. You just have to go out there and offer it. Do you have to know all the answers? No. If you did, you probably still wouldn't do it. <laughs> having all the answers would be like having all the cake and ice cream and pie that you ever wanted every day of your life. It would just get boring. So the joy, my friends, is actually in the journey. The journey is the joy. Like doing something that you're passionate about, that you love to do, is where the joy is. So you want to make sure that you do something that you love. Like I was super afraid when I started, you know, becoming a content creator, a blogger. But I truly believe that this is where I am meant to be. I know that this is where I'm meant to be. So... What I want to encourage you to do is do something different and do it afraid, okay? So even if what you do at first doesn't work out for you, don't just second guess it because here's the deal. If you don't do anything, you're going to not get anything from that. You literally sow what you reap. What you put out comes back. If you put out nothing, nothing can come back. If you try something, something will come back. It may not be exactly what you want to come back, but there will be a lesson in that. And those lessons are what's going to help move you forward. Once you start realizing that you can do something different and that you can learn something from those things that you do differently, that's when things begin to change for you. And if you're looking for change, 
then you, my friend, have to start <laughs> by doing something different. Like it's crazy because a lot of us, we want things to change in our lives. And I probably said this before, I'm sure I have, but we probably we always want things to change in our lives. But what we don't realize is that it's not those things around us that need to change. It's us. Once we start changing the way we look at things, that's when the things start changing for us. So get out of survival mode. Stop it right now. You were not meant to live in survival mode. You, my friend, were meant to live in creative mode. And don't forget, this Friday, I am going to tell you how to use creative mode to create the abundance in your life that you deserve. And if you have not, make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss out, of course. And also you can click the bell icon to make sure you get notified the next time that I post, which will be this Friday after this. And if you're watching this on another day, you can go to the Payday Your Way Friday, episode 23, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> but anywho, I am looking forward to what's coming ahead for you. And if I have offered you any value, by all means, leave me a heart in the comments or leave me something like, thank you so much, anything. And if you have questions, I love to answer your questions, believe it or not. So if you have questions for me, I would love to answer them. And if you want to, you can go to my main channel and you can find my email address and you could actually email me. And I do respond to my emails. Those are my personal emails. I get that. It comes right to me. So I will definitely email you back. But in the meantime, I hope that you have the most wonderful day ever. Stop living in survival mode because you, my friend, deserve to live in creative mode. Thanks so much for watching. And as I always say, stay peaceful, positive, and productive. I'll see you next time.